Yeah, what's up, everyone? I, I just wanted to share this with you. It's just a, one of the many methods that I utilize to kind of you know, analyze a, a stock ticker and gather information. What we're looking at here is a little script that calls a function asynchronously and concurrently for AMC. It scans the daily, the weekly, and monthly timeframes uh, for a wide array of different technical indicators, um, such as the ADX, the Arun, the Don Chain, the Keltner Channel, PPO, Ichimoku, DPO, Awesome Oscillator, Comma, TSI, Trix, Bollinger. Uh, channel Commodity Index, uh, Rate of Change, Stoke, Stoke RSI, Vortex, and Ultimate Oscillator. Now that, that is inconsistent column name there. Hold on. There we go. But yeah, so anyways, it gets all of these indicators for those three time spans I told you about, puts them all together, and then outputs, uh, you know, the sentiment value, essentially. So we're going to run this, or actually, the results are here, down here at the bottom. I can zoom in. I'll run it again, so just so you know that. It does work. I will run it here. And we're going to go ahead and save this as a CSV file. To CSV, we're going to do AMC information.csv. Let's actually let's do AMC technicals.csv. And then I'll go ahead and refresh this. And it's just a quick way to get, you know, a lot of insight on the ticker from a technical standpoint relatively quickly. And then we'll save it to a CSV file here. So we just ran all the code there. And this is the output. It just made the um, CSV file, amctechnicals.csv. So we're going to go ahead and take this file and copy it. And then we're going to go ahead and paste it to our good old buddy here. Um, let's do it this way. Let's drag and drop. Boop. Nope, can't do that. Okay. Sorry, technical difficulties here. Um, right here. Let's move this over here. Oh, you can't drag and drop? No, that's stupid. Anyways, I guess I'll just upload it from the computer. Um, where is it? Desktop markets, food stop, and AMC technicals. Okay, so we're going to say give an overall sentiment utilizing the data within. And it very quickly gives us the sentiment score. So overall, real quickly, we have 17 bearish occurrences, 10 bullish, 16 neutral, oversold 5, strong bearish 3, bearish breakout 1, bullish breakout 1, overbought 1. So essentially, it's kind of a mixed bag there. And this is GPT-40 with Canvas. Let's try the GPT-40 model for comparison. Um, run again. And the same results, obviously. This confirms a bearish to neutral outlook for AMC with more bearish signals than bullish ones. This sentiment is largely consistent with the cautious market perspective, where the stock appears oversold in some areas, but still predominantly bearish. Now, that's from a technical standpoint. Now, what if we expand on that and we go here and we go back to this script? And uh, I'm just going to comment this out for now. And I'm just going to do a really quick function. I'm just going to say main. Uh, async def main, and we're going to do uh, all options is await poly options dot get all options. We're going to say AMC is the ticker, and we're going to do the same thing. Just all options dot two or dot df dot two csv AMC options now dot csv, and then we can do uh, run this script, and then now rather than technicals we will get a full CSV set of AMC options with, with added metrics, <clears throat> um, which we'll see here in a second. But it'll run this, it'll create another data frame with AMC options, and we will then upload that similarly to a friend here. 
And it's right here. Now determine sentiment based on the totality of options data within. And you have a lot of columns to work with here. You got Vega, Theta, all your gamma metrics and Greek metrics, open interest, a lot of added things, um, bid ask, midpoint, moneyness, liquidity score, intrinsic and extrinsic value, Theta decay rate, velocity, return on risk, um, you name it, it's in there. Let's see what it has to say here. Okay, so the options data, however, and we can rely on this GPT prompt because it's not like I'm just asking it, hey, what's the AMC options data look like? I literally gave it a curated spreadsheet downloaded with the latest data as of whenever it was downloaded and then directly uploaded it to this thing to work off of, and that's the difference. So the options data suggest a high-risk, uncertain environment for AMC with implied volatility suggesting significant price swings. The minimal bearish tilt from Delta implies a slightly cautious outlook. In other words, you know, cash your puts, buy on the dip. However, the high open interest reflects strong speculative interest, which could lead to rapid shifts depending on market sentiment or news. So what does this tell you? It's gonna be all dependent on the upcoming earnings. So this may be one of those rare instances where we don't see a run up immediately preceding the earnings announcement or immediately following the earnings announcement, but rather maybe the earnings announcement itself. So let's wait and see what happens. 